Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. There we go. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left, inland. Yep. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well... Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? <laughs> we don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. We still heading the right way. 
That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So now it's more like a free roam. We can move as fast as we want now. But yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna explore and so on later on. But on this video, we're just gonna get settled in the new land. No more snow. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Come on now. Okay, let's go. Slopo. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. We're going up here. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. <laughs> you weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and... Here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so <laughs> would you just look around you this world has its consolations <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know see if i can strike up a little business of course herr strauss I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. 
Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Home sweet home for now. Well, chapter two. Horseshoes Overlook. Couple of weeks later. Got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> All right. S Since I don't like these clothes, I am sure to change right away if I have another choice. Let's see what they have to offer. These outfits, but uh, let's uh, make our own outfit. First of all, let's go without a coat to start with. We might have to get one after. Uh, it's not too bad. Oh, this one's good. Yeah. Change the shirt. Yeah, this should do. And some pants. Hmm. This is a little bit difficult of a choice, I guess. Let's go with this ones. Problem is they're too tight and they're too ugly. And they're work pants. Hmm. Excuse me, I guess we're not going to change that. And boots, let's see what we have to work with. Ah, this one's a nice. Hmm. Yeah, I already chose those ones, so I'm going to keep them there. They are better. Can't change that right now. And there is this mask. Whoa. 
Well, we must take that. Uh, bandana. We should have it. Neck wear nothing. We already had a bandana, so let's keep that. What's this? Don't need that yet. Gun belts. We already got that. And yeah. I'll take that. Give us a chance to hold more bullets on us. I'm I'm not gonna choose anything here because we already did. I think this is this is fine. That's better than what I had before. Let's talk to some people. Morning. Morning. Arthur. How's the cigar? Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in, in black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we greeted him. Should we say hi to her? Hey, folks. Hi. Hello. You seem miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. I guess I she don't want to. Wanna, yeah, she don't want to talk. Let's say hi Good to morning, her. Arthur. Good morning. Morning. Thanks for all your efforts. You're very welcome. I know we don't say it much, but we appreciate it. Sure. Yeah. Who's this? Hey. Hello. Gonna be a good day. You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Keep at it. Sure. Okay. Just gonna say hi to everybody. Get get introductions while in place. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> All quiet, Jose. Thankfully, yes. Good. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. They don't seem to have much to say. Let's talk to to him. Make a big pot. I'm starving. Morning, Arthur. Make it a good one today. Oh, I will. Anyway, didn't mean to interrupt you. Sure, Arthur. Is the food ready? Some of it must be. No. You're Arthur, right? Yeah. My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Yeah, this is the guy we caught up there, the one I left old. He doesn't seem to be okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna hunger. Good morning. Stop to death. Good morning. You know, this ain't such a bad spot we got here, all things considered. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. I'm always around. We sure lived in worse. Okay, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> He's busy. Let's go talk to her. Wait, I could chop some wood? Let's do that. Just a little bit. A few should do. Just get used to the to the land. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, that should do. Not gonna do it forever. 
Let's go say hi. If there's anything else we can do, just let us know. There ain't nothing you can do. All right. Well, you just holler. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. That's uh, Sadie. Sadie Ella. She lost uh, her husband in the house. That's the place that uh, burned after we <laughs> we went in and shot everybody. It ain't good, but if we keep hidden, it'll pass. Still a big country. Don't feel quite so big no more. That's the modern world. I think I like the old ways better. Hello. Hello, John. We might be less doomed if you pitched in and did some work. Christ, Arthur. I nearly died. Oh, don't worry. I know. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep. See you, John. All right, I think uh, we talked to almost everybody. There must be somebody else we're missing. But uh, it looks pretty good out here. And who is that that was over here? I saw somebody right here. Who's uh All right. I don't see anything. Let's go. Let's go out uh, to one of the missions maybe. Good or morning, Arthur. Morning. I didn't talk to you, did I? Morning to you. Tilly. You're a good worker. Thank you, Arthur. Don't let me disturb you. Yes. See you later. <laughs> and Good morning, Arthur. Morning. How you doing, Karen? Oh, all right, I guess. Grimshaw's driving me crazy. Well, so no change there. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. Hey there. Hi. Doing a good job there. Thank you. Sorry, shouldn't distract you. Sure thing. All right, I think we said hi to everybody. So you can see who it was. That's Lenny right there. We already talked to him. So what I want to do is I want to... I want to wanna write down here and see the land. Well, we didn't exactly talk to everybody. The other guys are out... Uh, out around this area looking for anybody that might come this way. They're, they're, they're guarding the area. So I might want to go down here. I just want to explore a little bit for the rest of the video. Because I remember I saw a video of... Uh, right. That's burned. I saw a video of someone finding some gold around this area. Easy. I just don't remember where. Maybe there. It was around this area, so I'm gonna go see if I can find some gold. Maybe I can uh, buy some new weapons. Easy. Yeah, this is the place. Somewhere around here, there is gold. I just gotta find it. I don't think it's in here. Just gotta look around and... Using the eagle eye, as it's called in Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna go look in the building that is not totally on fire. Hopefully it has something. Yeah. Do I have a lantern? No. Maybe. No, I don't. A 
our slot. Uh, can I loot this guy? No. He's been there for a while. I'm thinking they burned alive in here. So, the next place I want to look. Where did I see the gold? Must be around here. Because I could use that gold to buy some new weapons or something. Wait. There's something right there. No, don't rest. I don't want you to let rest. I, I want you to look around. There's a lockbox right there. Where is it? Right there. There we go. There's a gold bar right there. That's what I was looking for. I saw a video of some guy coming into this area. Let's uh, check the documents. Oh, it's a recipe. Special hall stimulant. All right. Got that. But we got the gold. Uh, at a point, I can sell that gold and uh, maybe buy some uh, some stuff for my for my gun or buy a new gun, a re new revolver. There was nothing else here as I can remember, so I'm thinking let's go hunting. They don't have that much meat left, so probably be a good idea to go hunting for the first trip in this yeah. area. Now to go hunting, I will have to... I'll have to find... Whoa. wait, there's something right there. That's perfect. Let's, let's get the bow. And just to be sure, let's take that too. Who's talking? There's a puzzle somewhere. The deer's left. That guy spooked whatever I was trying to hunt. That was gonna go go so smooth if it wasn't for that guy. Where'd he go? Oh, it's two guys. Oh, it's well, one guy. Well, hey there, partner. Come take a look at this. What is it? Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. I'm gonna... Dang it! No! I'm gonna take this. Be gone. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> I kind of didn't like it that he just said, look at this. It, it seemed like a trap. So I had to spook him. He also messed up my... Uh, my hunting. Take his hat. I was doing too well before he came around and spooked the horses. I mean, the, the animals I was trying to hunt. So, pick my horse and go somewhere else. Come on, let's go. Because I can't see. Okay, boy. Yeah. I can't see where they are. It's just people trying to find something to hunt that I can take back home. There was uh, there was something that I saw up here, but I don't think any animals would go up here. Uh 
easy. Okay, I hear something. Get off, get off. Where'd it go? get my bow out just in case I see it <clears throat> stop right here and look around doesn't seem to be anything Where's it going? I don't see anything at all. Okay. I hear him. Where are they? Where are they? Come on, I had it up here. Okay, I guess we gotta keep going. There's more than one. Yeah, it's more than one. Oh, I hope I just see him soon. There's nothing to see up here. They're moving too fast. I guess they're getting spooked every time. Oh, there. I got him. Got him, I got him, I got him. Got him. Oh, he ain't dead. He fell somewhere here. Yeah, he ain't dead. That's so sad. Let's finish him off. He What's that? Someone talking over there. Pretty good. Something's going on over here. this girl stand up for yourself she'll come around yeah I've been waiting yeah <laughs> I think he needs a little a little hug I'm gonna leave him alone yeah. so let's find our way to camp if I can remember where it is. I think it's right here. Now this is a... Uh, I think... If I'm not mistaken, it's up there, but I could be wrong. I've got 
things to attend. Don't slow me down. Yeah, there's something wrong with that guy. He picked up his uh, rifle right after he saw me. I think he's doing something wrong. But uh, I don't have the time to start shooting it off right now. <coughs> I think I'm in the right place. Not so sure. So this this looks familiar. Hey, who's there? It's me. Just me. I won't even ask. <laughs> so we got some meat. Gonna hitch the horse and uh, take the meat. Not a bad haul, boy. All right. So we, after we put this horse off, I think I'm gonna cut the video. I mean, not horse, but. Uh, this deer. Wait a minute. Where the hell is the kitchen? Oh, there you are. Sure. It was here. He had it all the time. Mr. Miller, he'll never let you down. It's so simple. Even you'd get it, Arthur. Well, thank you. What matters? What's always mattered? Surviving. The result, not the means, which I guess is sort of the same thing. We'll survive. We'll keep moving forward. Maybe we'll leave the West far behind. And do what? Give it time. Look at the birds. Look at the beasts. Copy what the best ones do. All right. Guess can I ask him what is it is he's talking about? Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. No, he's very confusing. Can't make sense of simple things. I don't know why he has to complicate everything. All right, let's donate this. You know these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skill tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Got this deer right here. Very good, we were getting low. Some of these. All right, that should be enough. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, anything else I need to do? Yeah, I need to check the the ledger over here, I think. Contribute, yeah. I was talking about something like that. Maybe I'll contribute a dollar or two. Yeah. Increase amount. Let's make it two. Okay, 2.2 then. There we go. And that will be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. And uh, for the next video, I might be doing something a little bit different. But uh, I'll see what I want to do next. But uh, as for this video, thanks for watching. Hey, wait a minute. There's a... Uh, there's little John's son. We haven't talked to him yet. Oh, what now? Huh? Hi, Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. You take care now. Uh-huh. Yeah, especially from that edge. Don't slip. There she is. Huh? Abigail. Boy behaving himself? I guess. Okay, I'll leave you two to it then. Uh-huh, yeah.
Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one. And I am out.